Hey guys, Fletcher here. So I used to do a favourite series on this channel where every season I would sit down and tell y'all what books I was enjoying reading and what music I was listening to and what games I was playing and stuff like that. And I also just enjoyed sharing my recommendations with you guys because not to toot my own horn or anything, but like that's my biggest talent is just recommending good stuff to other people. I should be like a critic or something, except I just love everything. So today, I figured I'm going to tell you some of my favourite albums that I've been listening to in 2017. That's not to say they necessarily came out in 2017, just that I listened to them this year. Although, to be honest, I think a lot of them are, like, new, so... Also, most of these are not, like, undiscovered gems that you'll never have heard of. They are pretty mainstream, but I like them. Number one. Harry Styles. You know what? Harry Styles was always kind of my favourite from One Direction. Him and Zayn were like up there. I thought Zayn was the most attractive, but like Harry was always kind of like the coolest and he had his like own style and his own kind of way of doing things and like his solo album is very, very good and it's gotten a lot of people listening to him that didn't listen to One Direction and they're surprised that he's talented, whereas if you go back and like listen to One Direction, they're all talented. Like the issue, just that it's poppy and mainstream doesn't mean they suck, you know. Um, but yes, Harry Styles' album is very good. It's one of the very few albums that I don't put on shuffle. I just listen to it start to finish and I feel like I have to because there's so many like songs that go perfectly into other songs and there's motifs that you find in like one song here and then one song further down the line and like the, the two songs at the beginning and end kind of bookend very well and it's just yeah it's an album that personally I like to listen to in sequence and I usually like to do it while I'm paying attention so I don't like to do it when I'm just doing other things I'll do it when I'm like walking so that's kind of all I have to pay attention to. My two favourite songs from High Styles are Two Ghosts and Kiwi. After Laughter by Paramore. Paramore is a band that I got into in primary five because one of my best friends at the time had a big sister who was just like the coolest person in the world to us so she gave us all this like cool like punk rock music to listen to when we were really young um, and Paramore was one of them and they still have managed to consistently come out with music I'm enjoying. <laughs> My tastes changed as I grew up, but they always managed to grow up with me and continue to put out music that fits exactly what I need at whatever point in time it's coming out at, which I think is very rare to find. Sorry, just a pause while I drink my protein shake. I hate myself. All of their songs have this really upbeat, poppy thing, and even the slower ones have a very kind of they have a bounce to them or like a wave to them in a way that I think really ties it together as a cohesive album and they have this thing where they're singing about kind of sad depressing things in a really like upbeat poppy way which is very interesting juxtaposition there. Their single Hard Times when it first came out I was absolutely obsessed with it and every time I sat someone down to listen to it I said you have to watch it with the music video the first time you hear it because the music video so cool! It's like my dream aesthetic. It's just, it's perfect. My favourite songs from After Laughter are probably Pool and Caught in the Middle. Something to Tell You by Haim. Haim are a band that I've thought were super cool for a very long time and yet never really got into their music. I'd heard the occasional song from their other album, the earlier one, and I thought, whoa, these are really cool people. And then for some reason, I just watched the music video to Want You Back, also a very good music video, and now all of a sudden, I love them. The new album is so good. They have this amazing simplicity where, like, each of them is just kind of playing an instrument and there's only three of them, and everything's kind of just layered tracks above each other to the point where it kind of feels easy. I keep listening to them and saying, God, I could do that. And obviously I couldn't. Okay, they're extremely talented, but they're so good, they make you think you could do it when you clearly can't. My favourite songs are Want You Back and Ready For You. 